So I am currently a scientific diver in training, and as soon as this course went up on the schedule, I instantly signed up. Originally, I wanted to work in a zoo or an aquarium, but as time went on, I've been able to meet these researchers. It's really opened my eyes to all the opportunities that are out there for a marine biologist. Today, we are out here at the university pool, and what we have is our scientific diver students who have been training and learning more about how to do science underwater on scuba. And during this course, we are training them of how to do long-term monitoring work of coral reefs. So the idea behind this course is we want to train our divers on a real life scenario that they would do if they actually got a job in marine science. These are standards that are done by our National Coral Reef uh, Program. The course material itself has taught me what specifically needs to be done in order to survey and document coral in the wild um, and what it takes to standardize that data so that everybody everywhere does it the same way. We have three banners, they're about six by eight feet. These are life-size banners, so the corals that you see in these banners are actual sizes of the corals. The iCreate Lab really helped us put these files together. So they had a large format printer, uh, their students helped us make the files, they helped us make the prints, they helped us get kind of the color toning just right. Without the iCreate Lab, we wouldn't have been able to print these large banners and have that available to the students without finding external funds to support this project. So we've been able to offer this course to the students as an integral part of the Scientific Diver training at no cost to the student. So the nice thing about doing this here on campus is that we have them in the pool, they can see, and it's a controlled environment where they feel comfortable and we can load them up with tasks that they would usually encounter if they were doing these uh, surveys on a research vessel with some of our partners. It is a very, very rewarding experience because uh, this is usually part, the part of their job that they love the most is <laughs> getting to actually get in the water, right? Uh, actually getting to do sample, getting to do hands-on things, learning things and really uh, develop their resume. So I, I know about myself that I'm a tactile learner. While this isn't exactly a coral reef, it's the best we can do. <laughs> and being in the water, I already feel like I am better equipped for a, a survey situation. Here at MUCC, I was able to experience something that many other people at other universities aren't able to experience. Even at other marine biology schools or coastal, coastal schools, we're able to get out, out of the classroom and into the field. We have everything here at MUCC, and I'm very thankful for this opportunity. I would say one of my favorite things about my position doing research and being a professor is seeing my students be involved in that research and have that experience of where they're like, wow, I'm really digging this. I really understand everything I've been learning. And also this is the moment that I've been waiting for my entire life. She is one of the most inspiring people that I have ever met. And not only because, you know, she's a woman in STEM and, and I can identify with that, but because of how passionate she is about creating a healthy work environment and a healthy learning environment and trying to be so inclusive. I feel like working with Dr. Barr um, will give me the the, the best opportunities I can for my future career. That's my service to my community, to my university, is being able to provide opportunities for the students such as this one.